hello everybody uh, hope you're uh, hope you're fine and doing well uh, so the requirement I thought in uh, previous video was ZAM which is the Apache Maria Maria DB in PHP Perl package so you can download it easily by visiting the apachefriends.org website and uh, you can find the desirable package for your operating system such as ZAM for Windows, ZAM for Linux or ZAM for OS X and the setup process is very easy just by clicking next 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 and finishing everything you will have ZAM installed in your system and once the ZAM is installed so you can open it by either going to ZAM control panel if that did not uh, find or it didn't come up so you can go to the operating system uh, oh, sorry windows explorer and visiting your c drive and going to the zamp folder in the zamp you will have something called zamp controlexe then just open that once you have opened that i have already uh, my zamp is running i have my sql and apache running on ports apache is running on port 80 and 443 and mysql is running on port 3306 so i have enabled the services so whenever i start my computer they are automatically starting up so the only configuration you have to do in zamp is go to apache config and click on apache http.conf so it will open in notepad or you can open in your desired editor find uh, php underscore gmp uh, sorry 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 it should be config php.ini since we are editing the, in the ini file so in here let me change this to gmp so this extension should be enabled if you are seeing it has something like semicolon on, on the front uh, so just clear that one so it should be enabled and uh, also search for mb string and also enable this this extension by clearing the semicolon and one thing more which should be uh, where is it where is it okay let me type i think yeah mb mb string dot func underscore overload and also and un, un, uh, uh, just remove the semicolon if it has anything uh, like that and then save the file and close it then just stop the apache okay. it requires the user authentication no problem once it's stopped, then start it again. So now the zamp is working and running fine. Uh, now we have to have an uh, an ID. I'm using VS Code, so you can easily download code.visualstudio.com and go and download the application from here and install it. I have already installed this one and for the package manager we have two one is node.js and one is composer now node.js as the name suggests it is for the javascript so you have to you have to download this the latest version and install it on your computer it is also the easy step in windows next 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 it will be installed once you have installed it, uh, just confirm it by going to cmd and type node-version. 
so it will it will it will display the version of the node you have installed and also the npm dash version which will show you the node package management uh, version which is currently on my system which is 6.6.13.4 6 the same case with composer just download it and install it on your system and check the composer as composer dash dash version so it will display you the current version of the composer installed on your system these are the two package managers which we need composer is for php uh, which we have to import the php web push notification uh, library and node.js we will have the web uh, generate keys library that will generate for us the private and public key so the library that I was talking about is the web push PHP uh, it is it is actually this library uh, minish link slash web push we will we will use this command to import this library in our application and also for the front end we are using the booster 4 so feel free to download booster 4 from this website and have it on your system once we start uh, using the start using uh, creating applications so you will have it on your desk and the finally but not least the code igniter the code igniter is a PHP, is a PHP framework which is very lightweight and works very good also download this framework and download the code igniter th 3 because currently 4 is uh, under development and it is it is the deployed but we will use code igniter 3 so just download this one and have it on your disk so we will start in the next video how to create our um, application and what what we are doing in the air step by step. Thank you.